Hey, all right, and welcome back, YouTube stackers. Hey, I'm glad to have you here. If you're uh, new here, definitely a big welcome. Please stick around, and if you've been here for a long time, well, hey, thanks again. I've got three great unboxings to do today. Not a whole lot of silver. I think we're going to be around 10 to 12 ounces or so, but got a package from Atmex. Also have a package from Texas Precious Metals, a real small one, but there is a twist to that one, a real advantage to that service they offer. And then I also have a box from JM Bullion. So we're going to be looking at some U.S. Mint, Royal Canadian Mint, as well as some Perth Mint products. So go ahead and get your favorite beverage, get comfortable, turn up the sound, and let's look at some gold and silver. All right, let's get started. All right, Atmex likes to ship their coins and their rounds in these packages here. So... Here's what we got, and I do have a little bit of a surprise for the audience today because I did also pick up a random date kookaburra. We'll get to that in just a second. So as far as the tubes are concerned, uh, these five ounces from Atmex, I did pick up a one ounce random date American Silver Eagle. So we'll go ahead and get that open and have a look here. And the first one is a 2008. 2008. All right, I was still in the army back then. Actually, about halfway done. Yeah, halfway done. All right, so I've got four. Well, actually, yeah, when you count the one down there on the table, four eagles so far for this tube I'm trying to finish off. These are going to be random date eagles uh, in the tube. There are three 2020s and a 2019. So now we'll go ahead and add a 2008 to the mix. We'll take the 2020 as well. Go ahead and drop it in there. And we did have one more eagle. So this one is a 2009. Looks like it was packaged on June 3rd, not long ago. What did that other package say? Uh, June 3rd as well. So two different dates from June 3rd. All right. Get that eagle out. So there's the 2009. Oh, and I can hear the ice cream man. The ice cream man. Heard a lot more of the Ice Cream Man since the uh, COVID-19 outbreak. Uh, obviously not everybody feels safe, <laughs> but we didn't mind going out and getting a few uh, ice cream cones from the Ice Cream Man using safe practices. So there we go. So there's another Silver Eagle for the two. And now we'll move on to the two Canadian Maple Leaves. We've got uh, two more of these 2020s. Going to stick with the 2020s uh, for this tube of maples. And go ahead and get those out and if you've seen some of my previous videos uh, especially as part of this challenge this is the fifth video now then you know that for some reason Atmex ships these also in a flip so they're in the baggie and a flip I uh, don't know why but uh, I'll take the added security so go ahead and get that out place it on the deck there and the other one and uh, I'll tell you one other advantage of stacking silver Keeps your mind off the crazy. There's just so much going on in the world this year. 2020 is just such a strange year. Here in Florida, we're getting ready for hurricane season. There's already a tropical storm in the Gulf of Mexico. Looks like it's going to make impact in Louisiana. I hope everyone in that area is, uh, you know, taking proper precautions because you never know. So there we go. We've got two more Canadian maple leaves. And let's show the good side for the camera. Love these coins. These are spectacular coins to stack, get them at a better value. The newer ones, the 2018 and newer Maple Leafs are just so much better than the older silver Maple Leafs. Uh, more security features, less uh, risk of milk spotting, uh, the, the radial lines behind the Maple Leaf, just beautiful. Let's go ahead and set these down one more time. I got two more of these. And let's find the right tube. Nope, those are the Krakens. All right, so here's where we're at with the Maple Leafs. Looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven, twelve, and then the one down here at the end. So that makes thirteen. Thirteen Maple Leafs so far. Getting close to finishing this tube. It'll hold twenty. So. Week five and the maple leaves are coming along real nice. All right, let's take a quick look here before we continue on with the tubes at 
this kookaburra. So on uh, the One Gold website, they I wrote them. I actually I actually did do this, guys. Sent them an email and I said, hey, can we get uh, some more silver options uh, for redemption options that are directly on the website? Because it is a little bit of an inconvenience to have to call you uh, to get certain coins that I want to redeem for. And they did. They added random date uh, Perth Mint products, uh, some Philharmonics, uh, Libertads, uh, Australian Kangaroos, uh, random date American Silver Eagles, thank God, because they want uh, $2.50 more for 2020. So yeah, let's bust this out of the package. This one was packed on May 5th. And the random date kookaburra that we got is a 2018. Comes in a capsule. Here's the queen side. This is from the Perth Mint in Western Australia. The Australian kookaburra, and it looks like we've got a privy mark. Uh, maybe a dog. I'll take a closer look at it in a second. Four nines find silver, and guess what? This was cheaper than a random date Silver American Eagle from Matt Max. Yeah, this was like $25.04, I believe. So still a little high for silver, and I can already see the comments now. Oh, looking forward to those, the negative comments. But um, you know what? I got the cash. I make the cash. I want to convert it to silver. I believe in silver, and that's what I'm doing. And that's what I'm going to continue to do. So my first kookaburra. And now let me show you real quick how I plan on storing these. So I'm going to start picking up some higher... Uh, premium, <laughs> laugh out loud, right? Higher premium, yeah, right. It's kind of like normal premium now. Uh, silver coins from the Perth Mint, and I like using these Chinese uh, 15. Let's go ahead and slap it in there real quick. These are the ones that come with the um, Chinese pandas, which I don't really want at this time. No offense to anyone who likes them, but uh, a little miffed with China at the moment. So, but these uh, Perth Mint coins. Yeah, they fit in there perfect, right? So I'll start picking up, like, add one of these to my order and uh, the random dates, and we'll see what we get, right? And maybe some other Perth Mint products coming up. All right, so the next box we go, and here's the uh, Maple Leafs one more time. Let's go ahead and find the capsule. The capsule, I say capsule all the time. The uh, tube. So there's the tube, there's the tube lid. Uh, as I've been showing in my videos, you can use the large dollar guardhouse tubes. Same for the, uh, you know, Morgan Silver Dollars, Peace Dollars, Eisenhower Dollars. Works perfect. So we'll go ahead and put that in the background and keep the eagles out. All right. So the next one comes from Texas Precious Metals, and they shipped it in this um, USPS, not USPS, UPS. Uh, crazy. I don't know why it's so well overpackaged for what this order is you'll see here in a second um, Texas precious metals let me tell you if you want to just it's really loud isn't it if you want to just buy a couple of silver eagles and I say silver eagles because here in Florida I get charged sales tax if I buy anything but US mint products from Texas precious metals not sure why they do charge sales tax and Jam and that mix they don't um, but I get this so I don't buy rounds from them I don't buy bars from them um, I want to because their prices are, are stellar and their shipping is free. So here's the advantage of Texas Precious Metals, okay? I'm going to open this up right now and you'll see why I love these guys. First of all, customer service is top notch. Second of all, I ordered one, one Silver American Eagle from them and they shipped it for free. And the price that you're going to pay might be, uh, you know, a few cents more, 20 cents, maybe more than the high volume cash price from like Atmex, J and Bullion. Um, it might be a little bit more if you're buying, of course, 1,500 of them. But if you're just going to buy one, you can't beat it. All right. So here is the box from JM Bullion. And uh, I'm going to pull my camera back a little bit. It's uh, packaged a lot more nice uh, from the outside than the other two, but uh, it does take longer for these to get here for some reason. So let's go ahead and pop it open. All right, so we've got the uh, box open here. We'll go ahead and toss it on the floor. They got some little packaging and then it's all wrapped up in saran wrap. So we'll pause the camera again so I don't blow your eardrums with this and show you what's inside. All right, we got it open in this order. Uh, yeah, I placed this order 
on May 18th. Okay, so we've got, looks like six ounces of silver here. Yeah, let's go ahead and get it open. All right, JM Bullion, uh, you know, they like to just kind of tape this stuff up. Sometimes the flips are flat, sometimes the flips are flipped over. They're, honestly, their quality control is not as good as with Atmex and Texas Precious Metals. I uh, haven't had any problems with their customer service, uh, and they've got that great veteran and military discount. It's just, you know, you're going to have to deal with some crazy packaging from time to time. All right, here we go. Got them undone. And what we have in this order, one, two, let me get these uh, separated here. We've got uh, four of the sun, not sunshine, of the Silvertown. Silvertown! We got four of the Silvertown rounds, Buffalo rounds. So we were, we're doing two round, two uh, tubes of the Buffalo rounds. You got the uh, Highland Mints there to the left and the uh, Silvertowns to the right. Now I get the Highland Mint ones from Atmex via one gold and the Silvertown Buffalo rounds. Those come from Jam Bullion. I've heard some really nice comments lately about the Asahi Buffalo rounds. Took a look at them. They're really pretty. I think I might actually uh, look at getting a tube of Asahi rounds, whether they be the Buffaloes or just their standard rounds. Or I just I think uh, once I'm done with these two Buffalo tubes of generic rounds, that you know I'll, I'll focus on something from Asahi next time. What do you think? Let me know. All right. So here's one. Uh, very nice rounds. A little expensive right now for silver rounds, going at about uh, twenty bucks each, uh, give or take uh, fifty cents, depending on. What spot is doing that day? Uh, four of these, but I know that these are kind of bland and boring, so we'll go ahead and show you. We did pick up another Kraken, and getting closer to finishing up a tube of these. Let's go ahead and get it out of the flip here, and uh, show you this beautiful Royal Canadian Mint Kraken. Now, there are some that are like, oh, don't touch it. Look, dude, this is a bullion coin. It's got scratches all over it. I, I keep trying to tell people in the comments section, if I want a perfect coin, no! I'll buy a perfect coin. Uh, I'm stacking these, okay? I'm getting silver at a better price, two ounces. I'm saving about a dollar to a dollar fifty over buying two Canadian Maple Leafs. And uh, I'm going to get the same price when I go to sell these to my local coin shop. He's going to give me Maple Leaf pricing, so... I'm doing myself a favor, not a disservice here by stacking these. Um, I'll probably pick up an MS, MS-70 Kraken because I like the coin. And I'll keep that one in a different spot. All right. So there we go. Let's go ahead and get the right tube here. Don't you like it when it's getting a little disorganized? <laughs> That's a good thing. It means you've got uh, more silver. So we'll get organized once the video is over. All right. Here is the tube. Currently have one, two, three, four, five. So that's 10 ounces of these uh, wonderful Krakens, beautiful silver coins, first in the series. Go ahead and add that one and that one. And then we will find our tube that we have for the Buffalo rounds, the Silvertown ones, that is. And let's go ahead and get these last two out here. Actually, three. Oh yeah, I got a Highland Mentor down there, that's why. I'm like, wait, did I get an extra one? All right, so we'll get uh, all of these together here. Beautiful rounds from Silvertown. Pretty, huh? Nice buffalo. Go ahead and slide those down into this tube. 39 millimeter tube, same for the Britannia. Uh, I believe also the uh, Cougar Ram. We'll find out soon. And we'll go ahead and throw the Highland Mint Actually, that's the Eagles. Yep, there we go. So we'll find our top for the Eagles. Slap that on. Find uh, a medallion and another medallion. There we go. So we'll bring the tubes all back in real quick. And I need one more. There we go. All right. So week five. And there we go. Well on our way to finishing up these tubes. I uh, hope you guys learned something from this video. Please leave comments down below about what you're stacking, uh, what you think about this. I'm trying to do 10 ounces a week for the next uh, five weeks. Going to finish up, on, basically it's 100 ounces. Uh, I did start with 10 ounces, so it's 90 ounces in 10 weeks. I'm uh, going to throw in a little uh, high premium as well, like the Kookaburra. 
and we'll start throwing one or two of those in on our orders um, as we can, especially as these prices come down, hopefully even more. And then once we're done with these tubes, we're gonna we're gonna add the Britannia next time. We're gonna throw the Britannia in the mix. Britannia is going to replace the maple leaf. I'm gonna also stack another tube of Eagles during the next iteration. Uh, and then we'll figure out what we're going to do here. I think what I'm leaning towards based on your comments is doing the Krugerrands, a tube of uh, 2020 Krugerrands. Then we'll do Asahi rounds, Krugerrands, Eagles, Britannias. And uh, over here, uh, hopefully the Royal Canadian Mint will have released the second coin in the Creatures of the North series. So we can go ahead and do that. All right, everybody, that's going to conclude this video. I've got a big uh, pile of coins here. Got to clean up and get organized. Um, yeah, stay away from the craziness, right? Focus on some gold and silver. It's, um, it's nice to be a part of this community and uh, interact with all of you guys and keep our minds off all the negativity and hate out there right now. So, all right, keep stacking, everyone. Talk to you next time.